Hey everyone, Spencer Hawes here with NichePursuits.com and today I want to talk about building Amazon affiliate links. I've been building um, Amazon Associate sites for a long time and I've used a lot of different tools that will help me build those affiliate links so I make money when people go over to Amazon. Uh, but what's the best tool out there? Um, I've used pretty much all of them, I think. And one of them is slowly rising to the top. Uh, it wasn't always this way, but Amalinks Pro uh, is getting better and better and just might be the best uh, affiliate link builder tool out there. And so I want to give you a demo of that here today, but I also just wanted to quickly share a little bit of the background of the tool. It's pretty interesting. I interviewed the founder, Matthew Allen, on the Niche Pursuits podcast. That episode will probably be released today or it already was released uh, when you're watching this video. Uh, he's actually a full-time truck driver for FedEx, uh, but he's been building niche sites on the side for many years and he decided that he wanted to build a tool that would make it faster and easier to build out beautiful showcase boxes and buttons and links and everything for Amazon Associates. And so he did that. He partnered with a developer, their 5050 partners, and they've been working on it for a few years. And like I said, when it was first released, I was kind of like, okay, you know, it's another tool. Uh, but now over the years, they really have been releasing a lot of features and updates that I think probably make it the most all around, most comprehensive toolbox for building links, tables, product boxes, buttons, uh, image links, and more uh, for Amazon Associates. So I am using it on my sites. I'm gonna jump in, I'm gonna show you, so this is gonna be kind of a, a full review of Amalinks Pro. I'm gonna show you what it's all about and you can decide if it's something that you wanna add as one of your software tools. All right, so I own, <laughs> own the yard.com. I've shown this, uh, I make a few thousand dollars a month from this niche site and about 50% of that revenue comes from the Amazon Associates program. The other half of that comes from display ads. I use Ezoic there. Uh, but I wanna jump into this. I'm gonna show you some of these articles that are monetized with Amalinks Pro. And then I'm gonna show you how quickly, easily, and just robust the tool is to use. And so here I've got an article the best soccer ball for the money, right? So I'm trying to rank for that particular keyword. Uh, but as I scroll down here, I've got this nice showcase box that pops out that shows um, the, the title, the description with all these bullet points, the price, the prime eligible, and the button. And you can see that if I clicked on this image, the title, or the button, that's gonna take me over uh, to Amazon where I can buy that and it's using my own the yard and I have it, uh, the tag in here is AMA links uh, tables. So I know it's coming from AMA links pro. And uh, then also another thing that I'm use, using here is this custom button, this custom uh, button. It, it matches the colors and uh, the design of my site and uh, same with this. So I'm gonna show you how to create those two things and then a couple of other things as well um, we can compare. I've actually, this particular uh, box is created using AAWP, a competitor. So I'm gonna swap this box out with Amalinks Pro and we're gonna see which one we like better. So let's jump right into it. So if I edit this post, the first thing that I wanna do actually which is, it's pretty cool, is I wanna insert a product comparison table. So what I will do is typically, so you can see that I've got several products. I've got um, five or six different products in this post. And so I'm gonna insert a product comparison table. That's uh, the most complex feature of Analytics Pro. So why not? I'm gonna start with that feature and then we'll show you uh, the smaller features, how to create links and images, the, the easier features. Uh, so I like to create product comparison tables right here at the top of my post. And so I'll just click the Amalinks Pro button. Right, and then um, I'm gonna select the table builder. 
And what I can do, I you can see I've created a ton of tables here uh, already, but let's create a new table. And we're gonna name this uh, best soccer ball for the money. And we're gonna continue that, right? And so then all that you start doing is you start adding, um, oh, I don't wanna add a column. Uh, you can, I'm gonna just add, uh, I'm gonna search for an ASIN here. And I've already got all of the ASINs that I need uh, here in my post. So I'm gonna kind of uh, use it that way, but you could, you could search, um, you know, for the particular soccer ball. This is the one that I want. So I'm gonna click to select that and insert that into my table. And just like that, it's got that. All right, so I just went through and I added um, the five soccer balls that I reviewed there. Um, and then usually what I like to do is add one as a favorite. So that kind of makes it stand out, right? And um, you could drag it up, you know, I could have it at the top. Um, I kind of like it in the middle, kind of makes it stand out. And then you can edit what these say. You know, I've got some default settings, so the buttons all just say that. I didn't have to type that in. And I've also got default set, and I'll show you the global settings uh, here in just a little bit. Uh, but basically it shows you that it's using your, your global settings. They're already there. Um, once you've got that there and, and saved it, you can insert it into the classic editor, right? And that just did it right there. It just inserted that table. So now if I preview my changes, I can see that that table will be inserted and there it is. Um, I've got um, everything there. It looks, I think, really professional and it's got my top pick. And if I click on that, again, I'm gonna go over and it's got my Amalinks table uh, affiliate link so that I know it came from one of my tables. So now let's take a look at, again, this post. I've got my product box, uh, the showcase box, sorry, uh, created by Amalinks Pro. Let's go ahead and replace this one. This is a product box created by AAWP. Let's um, swap it over to Amalinks Pro. And again, the process is pretty simple. I'm gonna leave that box there so we can compare but let's uh, copy this, go to Amalinks Pro. Uh, we're no longer in the table builder. So let's, um, let's do a showcase box because I actually want that to be selected. And uh, it didn't find the ASIN, so sometimes you do have to search it by name. Uh, just the way the Amazon API works sometimes. Uh, let me make sure I select the right one. I've got the, uh... so I'll just choose uh, this one here and I'm gonna make it a showcase box. But what's cool is you can do text link, image link, call to action link or showcase. Uh, we're gonna do that. Uh, I can do the original showcase and I, I just wanna show you the previews of all of these because I don't wanna make this video crazy long, but you can do the original showcase I can do a small one that I think that looks pretty sweet. Um, you can do a simple wide box. You can do one with a slider. A large uh, showcase box with a slider. Advanced image slider. And this particular product doesn't have a lot of images, unfortunately, so it doesn't show off how cool it is, uh, but it is very cool. So. I'm gonna just go with the original showcase. And what I do also like is you can decide, do I wanna show the price? Do I wanna not wanna show the price? I, you could change it um, to do some different things. You could hide the image. You can hide certain bullet points or you could add bullet points. So you really can customize. And I don't think there's any other Amazon plugins that allow you to customize quite as much as that. All right, so uh, once you've got that, uh, go to step three and um, you can, wow, you can actually set the, um, the width. That's uh, interesting. Um, I'll stick with the default, but I wanna make it centered and open in a new window, new follow tag, and then insert shortcode. 
and uh, then it is inserted uh, right here and so all right so as you recall I left the original AWP product box and then here's the the code for the Amalinx Pro that it we just created that and so if I preview these we can kind of see um, what we think so again there's my table my other showcase box uh, and then here's a comparison so here is AAWP that's just what they pull in and then here is the Amalinx Pro um, I personally like the look of Amalinx Pro uh, when I compare the two um, the text is a little bigger the image is bigger uh, the um, there's more bullet points and uh, just overall it looks I don't know it looks pretty good but I'll let you decide so that's what AAWP does I don't believe AAWP at least very e easily allows you to create these tables um, I think you can tweak it and make it work but you can create tables a lot easier uh, let's just do one more thing um, I won't show you how to create these buttons but it's it's really easy let's go ahead and create uh, maybe just a simple link or something here so let's go down here to number three let's say we wanted to make this um, a an affiliate link all right so we're gonna go back all right so I'm gonna just select that it's my default on the yard tracking link I'm gonna look up the ASIN and I'm going to show you, we'll end up doing a text link, but I'm going to just show you um, on this one uh, what you can do. You can do just, just a single image link. You can do a large, medium, small, right? And um, there's, anyways, if there's different images, you can, anyways, you can go to your link settings. Um, it's pretty cool. So you can do just an image or you can do the call to action button and again there's not a whole lot here to show um, but I've customized a button I could select that one or you can create a new call to action button you can make it match exactly your theme um, the text you know that you want on there or the showcase box so but if you just want to do a straight um, text link I've got that and um, that's that's pretty much it insert link and let's see there it is um, the link is inserted that's my affiliate link ready to go right so now let me show you some of the global settings um, I've shown you a lot of what you can do there's a lot of other tweaks that you can make uh, but you can come in here to Amalinx Pro let me save this first. All right, so let's go ahead and check out some of these settings. Um, you know, obviously, you got general settings. Make sure you're uh, active and everything like that. But global settings is where you can do a little bit of designing uh, once you've input your API um, and got your global link settings how you want them. You can do link localization and input genius link code uh, if you want. Lots of other things. But showcase settings, you can have a default button text so you don't have to write that every time um, that's what it's gonna say and if you want to have custom showcase call to action buttons which is, which is what I did I went through here and so these green um, these colors of buttons that's what I selected because that matches my theme I had uh, green green colors on my theme and you can do all sorts of things the padding the width um, super easy to point and click and then call to action buttons you can put the text on there right um, so it's really easy to um, customize it so if you want the font bigger instead of 14 I can do 16 uh, if you want it smaller larger spacing so totally customizable make it work the way that you want it to work now, I'll also share uh, some feedback that I gave Matthew Allen, the, the founder um, of Amalinx Pro. He, I think, created this feature for me, the ability to just paste in short codes um, to make it a lot easier to change out affiliate links. Um, because I go to my writers and I've already got all of the 
ASINs picked out, right, um, that they're going to write about, or they've already written about them and picked them out, um, I don't, I would prefer that they didn't have to go into Analinks Pro and, and create a new showcase box, right? It only takes um, maybe a minute to, to create that great looking showcase box, but wouldn't it be even better if they could just copy and paste the short code? So he now made this um, possible, and I've already done this one, so I'm gonna just remove, uh, that's the AAWP, but I've already created this custom one. Um, what if I could just come in here, I'm gonna paste this in, and then just swap out the correct ASIN, and I've got that changed out. So I'm gonna do this real quick. First gotta copy that, of course. Try that again, paste that in, and uh, copy that out, paste that in. All right, so you're gonna watch me here for 30 seconds. I'm almost done, this is the last one. And now, and I'm gonna delete the old code. I've now just updated all those affiliate links with great looking Analinks Pro showcase boxes. Let's take a look at it uh, to see what it looks like. So there is a way, there are short codes that can be used. And in fact, um, yeah, short codes can be used to do that. So that's the first one we already did. Second one we did in front of you, and then I just pasted out all of these, right? So you can see that by default, these get pulled in, they look great, they've got all the features um, that the other ones had as well. And so, of course, again, my affiliate link for Own the Yard is inserted there. So overall, honestly, Analinks Pro has come a long way. It does uh, tables, it does links, it does showcase boxes, it does buttons, it does image onlys. Um, you can customize it completely. Uh, it's really a great tool, it pretty much I believe is everything you would need to create affiliate links for your Amazon site. Is it the best tool out there? I'll let you be the judge. I really like it. I use it on my sites. Um, it does what I needed to do. And like I said, it's come a long way um, since it started two years ago. And now it really is kind of right there at the top of the pile. So that's my quick review for Amalinks Pro. And again, uh, if you want to listen to the interview I did with the founder, with Matthew Allen, uh, you can check out the Niche Pursuits podcast. Also, if you're watching this within the first week of this video being released, there actually is going to be a discount. It's actually 50% off Amalinks Pro for the first year. Um, so your subscription for the first year is 50% off. So if you go over to nichepursuits.com, slash Amalinks Pro, that's AMA Links Pro, you can get that 50% off. So hopefully you enjoyed this quick review and whether or not you use Amalinks Pro, that's up to you, but thanks a lot for checking it out.